good. And it is very good. And I am very energetic. But it is a good Friday afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to more Slay the Spire, where I said hello to the world last time with these freaking balls right here. All four of them. Today, Ironclad. Dude, I love the Ironclad. My favorite. I was going to say, I was going to talk about the Defect, actually. But I love the Ironclad. He is actually my favorite. Probably the one we have the highest win rate with. Learn to love the Defect now that I knew a little different deck I can try out. There was some discussion there, you know, obviously a bit of luck played into it, but hello world, I'm telling you, it's legitimate. Hello world stacks, there you go. Stacks on stacks on stacks. Alright, today, Ironclad, random colorless card, random common relic, max HP down, random relic rare up. Random relic rare up. Random relic rare. You know, you just want to, like, you know, mix these words up any way you want, say the sentence, and then you can get something there. So it's like, seven random HP max lose random... Rare, like, yep, yep. anyway. Give me a random common. The boof, not that great. There are some uh, cards with this character it can't work out with, but that's fine. But dude, I'm still, like, smiling over the last round with freaking Orb Lord and his balls, dude. And thinking about all those balls just reminds me of Mr. Bucket. Everyone's favorite Hasbro toy from the 90s, Mr. Bucket. You put his balls in your mouth. Or his mouth. We'll talk about that later. Anyway, what path do you want to take? Early shops are here. Some fireplaces would be nice. I think with the Ironclad, you do want to, like, push the Elite Agenda, because you can just, like, you know, crush them like a bug, and you get the sustain on top of it. I think we're going to hug right, though. Get the Late Shop, Early Elite, Fireplaces, Mystery Events is good. You guys don't know about Mr. Bucket, by the way, which is that bit I was just about to go on. You need to just literally go Google Mr. Bucket commercial. That's all you need. Mr. Bucket. A toy from the... Ooh... Oh, there's a little bit of good there. Oh, up in the damage by one. I know, it's pretty good. The toy from the 90s where the concept was a bunch of kids gather around. Mr. Book is like got a bunch of balls on the ground. You take your little scoop, put your colored ball in there, but be careful. Every time you put a ball in his uh, bucket, it comes out of his mouth. Slogan and fucking phrasing for that toy as the jingle went. It's Mr. Buckets. You put your balls in my mouth. I'm Mr. Bucket. You put your balls in my mouth. Mr. Bucket. Buckets of fun. All right, there's the energy. This is the energy, by the way. I'm sort of dead right now because I'm also home on a Friday. It's a rarity. Uh, I do like flex. You've come to learn when you play the uh, Ironclad, strength is your boy here. Is there anything that I would like to grab from this? A dramatic entrance. A nice little bit of AoE to everyone. Guaranteed damage out the gate. Is this like a... This is a very mediocre take, but a part of my brain is just like, take it. Fucking take it, dude. So mediocre, you should take it. Yeah, but that's like why you shouldn't take it. We're going to pass. Hold off on spending money until we get to our later shop here. I only picked up the strength. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll pay for the healing, actually. Don't want to thin on the deck right now. I'd rather just sustain myself. And then I upgraded two random pieces of crap cards anyway. So that was the point. Okay, just toss some more HP in the fire. All right. We paid for two upgrades with this little path here. 63 HP. Let's take on the boss. Our only damage amp is the flex. It is quite bad to have this as the opener. But, you know, that's fine. Uh, opener for like the cards we're playing. I mean, not so much as the opener we had there. That was a great opener. And if we can get our flex and like a three attacks right now, that'd be great. The exact thing happens. 36 damage out. 20 damage in. We're getting our ass kicked because we don't have any other damage cards outside of the few that we have here. But one more good round of damage and we should be good. Please don't hurt me. It's hurting me. It's hurting me a lot. Here you go. 13. These are hitting for seven apiece. As long as you draw two, you're good. You're guaranteed to draw two. Mitigate a little bit of that damage. Moving on. How was my day today? It's busy. Surprise, surprise. My phone time has gone up at work. I knew it was bound to happen, but I'm not like too excited about it. At the same time, not too cheesed off. Although, now I have to do a whole, I know, two hours of phone time like everyone else. Oh, the horror. Kind of, because like it really sucks up the entire afternoon of my day. I go to lunch at 1030. I get back at 1130 on phones till... 1.30. Did I get my times right? Wait a minute. Yeah, no, 1.30. And then it's like, alright, and then I leave at 3. So you got an hour and a half to get everything done. There's not enough time, most of the time. Definitely not enough time. Yo, Hemokinesis. I think we need some, like, raw damage in this deck. That's an upgrade target as well, just because it is a good upgrade target. And, well... I'm actually going to upgrade the Flex. It affects all of our other cards a little bit more. Hemokinesis, the next upgrade in mind. Matrushka. Matrushka, Magushka. It's Maguda. All right. What do I want here? Pen nib? Maybe. Dal size? I do like some defense in the deck. That'd be great. We're very offensive heavy right now. Pen nib is guaranteed to give us some big hits later on, though, and those big hits might be the, the linchpin. 
Lantern. Also kind of important to get some extra energy, but not right now. First floor, you can get away with not having a lot of energy. I think you want this, though. Four passive blocks. Energizes with Aura Calcum so well. Hmm. Let's think. And against that upcoming boss there, the Hexabud, you are going to want the extra damage. We're going extra damage, damn it. Fucking balls to the wall, Mr. Bucket. Put your balls in his mouth. That's what he would tell you right now if you were playing with him. He'd say, hey. Better watch out, I might spit him out. Okay, play that. Uh, we need to pop this because we're in a little bit of danger. That is a good card to get right here, and let's whack him. Whack him. We'll finish him off on the next turn here. Yeah, we're just meandering into the weekend, though. There's nothing much to say. I'm home. I'm just glad to be relaxing. I have a shorter week next week, only four days, thankfully, so hopefully that gets me a little bit more entertainment out of my weekend here. Do you take Havoc? Like, the, this deck right now is not a lot of anything. There's a little bit of an identity crisis. We got a flex and a hemokinesis. You take iron wave, so you have damage and block. I mean, you could. What's the upgraded version? I just looked at it. 7-7. Seven, seven. Fuck, dude. I think that is a necessity right now. I am going to keep my HP low, because I'm perfectly fine having low HP this upcoming battle. It lose 2 HP, do 4 extra damage. That is, like, really solid. Believe you me, I know my HP is not in a position to be playing it, but it is still very solid for this fight, because we need... Damage mitig or the, just the uh, just the raw damage. Sorry, I'm tripping on my words here. My brain is truly scrambled. I'm feeling a little under the weather, which was the next point I was gonna get on here. After I buy a good block, yes. Feeling a little under the weather. It's like, hey, remember I mentioned the end of the victory yesterday? I'm like, all right, we'll you know get started on getting that uh, other series up and running. That was the plan, but as soon as I got done and it uploaded, I had this, like this wave of nausea just come over me, and I just actually could not stand to you know be awake for any longer so i actually like took a three hour nap woke up i'm like all right i'll start the thing now i'm like yeah i could start it right now or i could sleep I and mean, i decided on the ladder there um happy flowers giving us extra energy we need to block a little bit of this damage here and that's his big attack by the way it's 12 damage is a big attack so we can deal with it but you know every oh yeah he should play the good strike dumbass instead of Throwing your cards out willy-nilly like that. Again, he's doing his big attack. Uh, really quick here. Um, can we talk about this? So I can't play this because I'll die. So we're going to... We're going to strike him, and then we'll strike him for 30 here. It is good damage, but like... Wait, I'm... I had five block. I had seven HP. Oh, hey, that turns out to be 12, doesn't it? Oh, well, shit. Remember how I said Ironclad is like my highest win rate character? Just kidding. All right. A little more gusto here. A little more uh, better everything, please. And I think because we mage the guy, yeah, we do get our, uh, a buff here. Uh, I think I go... Wait, this is the exact same. I think this is the only thing that's different. Give me another random common relic. Juju bracelet. All right, I'm sold. Mystery machine all the way. And look at that, we can a little bit of combat mystery machine into an elite, run it up into another elite, double elite if we want, late shop, or we can actually take the shop on the right here. So you go, bam, zoing scoob, and then you get here, you rest up, or take on the elite, and then you go, minor zoing, no, actually you go here, then, the, yeah, okay, we see the path here. Okay, join the gang of the mystery machine, Scooby-Doo, where are you? Find out what these mysteries will hold. Looking for good events, looking for... More relics, ideally. Um, I could take this damage, and I'm fine with that. Uh, if we do this, we'll drop him down to... A killable range. Yeah, that's good. If we didn't do that, we would have to go through like another blocking turn. And we could come out a little bit better for, you know, wear, but... There's no need to do that if I can just guarantee the kill here. It's fine. Okay, another flex. It's fine. Flex is fine. Twin strike is a little better. Just a little. Or a clothesline. Maybe you go for, like, big value cards and you go for a Sneko's Eye deck. That sounds like fun right now. Whether or not it's good for Ascension, I don't know, but that sounds like fun. Um, yeah. Let's give it a whirl. Let's go for some high-energy cards. Ah, oh, it's the Face Trader. Just take some of my fucking blood for money. And then... Oh. <laughs> hmm. So this is actually just a net gain in general, because we paid... We gave him 50 gold, or we got 50 gold for 7 HP, and then we just got the guy that was paid us back more, so... You know what? Came out a winner here, and then... You sack 11 HP for even more gold. 
you do hold out to that late shop, I think. Let's see what this event has. Okay, even more gold. So in case you were curious how much gold we have, we have a lot. Um, so this one's actually a, a maybe for me. Because the weakness is pretty bad. It's extremely bad. And I wanted to fight this elite. We could scurry around it and then get rid of it. But like, I am going to pass on this one here. Then go here. Rest up. Give me more turns of weakness. I've come to realize until we actually get some actual damage on the table, being able to mitigate more damage, way more important. And you're just saying, come to realize right now. No, I've always realized this. I just always forget it. Like, have you been watching the series? I'm a very intelligent person when it comes to playing this game. I don't make any mistakes. Everything is always calculated to the T. I do the math in my head. I'm never off by one. I can multiply if I wanted to, but I'm too damn lazy. It's like, it's all perfection here. That being said, I know the weakness is very good just because, you know, I can block for a little bit more or a little bit less technically and still get the same value. Uh, feel no pain. Don't really have an exhaust deck going on here, but we could. We can also just turn into a, you know, a dead branch deck and then all of a sudden we're off to the races. That sounds like a lot of fun. As it stands though, feel no pain is going to be doing a lot of nothing. Oh, but actually I'm going to take it because if this elite fight is Silent Hill, that's going to be a really good get. Is it so good that you'd upgrade it? So that's where you're starting to talk crazy talk, right? Like one step at a time there. Because I don't have a guaranteed deck around it, I will upgrade Bash instead. Believe me, I don't like upgrading Bash. I feel like, again, I'm with the community there. Bash is a little bit of a trap, but what it does, it does well. So play that immediately. This guy does not give me any dazes. I'm going to go ahead and drink this because I'm going to need that HP. And we're going to go for... Oh, fuck. He's giving me, like the worst options at the end here. He would. I think on the opener turn here, you go for the damage. Like, you're not going to get that chance of damage. If they want to give me clothesline again quicker, that'd be great, but no such luck has been made here. Wait a minute. Is this... I'm always getting three block? Wait, hold the phone. It's not whenever a card is exhausted, it's every... Whenever a card is exhausted, you always will gain that much block each turn. Is this... Is this a revelation that I should have realized sooner? Am I crazy? Because I thought I got the block last time. I might be crazy. But... Ayo. 27 damage there. 20 damage back, so it's fine. No, that's... <laughs> Hey, Tim, I know you're getting excited there over basically nothing, but no, it's every time a card is exhausted. It's not... <laughs> that's just letting you know you have the buff up. Um, oh, yeah. What a, what a revelation at this very moment in time. Uh, totally forgot. Oopsie. Okay. Uh, we need to keep laying on the damage here, so we're going to be put on, like, a critical position here. Like, we're on Dad's door. It's the darkest dungeon. The game would be like, wham, wham, someone's about to die. Hopefully, low roll. We didn't there. Paper Frog. Love it. Berserk don't love it unless we get like um is there something that prevents vulnerability is there a relic for that I don't think there is could grab it so we can throw it in the fire later but that's all we would really be good for it's decent against slime lord on some turns is this the day of just trying bad things it definitely feels like I'm going down that path but I think we're gonna say no no matter how much you want to give that a whirl, I don't think it's an intelligent decision in the fucking slightest, so we'll just ignore it. And what do you do here? You remove the bigger threat, crush him, block him, get some actual sustain here, please. Same thing here, block him, bash him. I could have killed him, actually, if I just, you know, bashed and strike. So that's, that's an L on me. Like I said, we don't make mistakes here. It's only perfection. Power potion. Uh, Flame Barrier. Again, we're getting a lot of high-value cards here, but that's sort of what I want to try out here. I want to get a Sneckle's Eye, if at all possible. Uh, upgrade a card in your deck. What would you upgrade? Probably this. Like, that's good block. Yeah. Go ahead and upgrade that. I feel like Transforming is never good, and Removal right now, the way we've built the deck, we do need some low-level cards to come in every now and then so we can actually play the game. Meal Ticket. That's sustain. Everything else here? Kind of lame. Hilariously enough, the Bomb... is slow but <laughs> i could play it 
against Slime Lord and it will work out. It really might be the Bay of Bay of Bad Decisions. Yeah, the Bay of Bad Decisions. JFK sent the the you know the Cuban Red Bulls to the Bay of Bad Decisions. You know, the Bay of Pigs. Really, you know, same difference really. Or conversely, you can buy Lantern and get a better start. Or you can buy your you know ex girlfriend in Flame, who you used to love dearly, and then you realize she's not that great. She really isn't. You can buy a second potion as well. L bear with me today. All right, I'm just gonna say it now. Bear with me. We're making some interesting choices today. What I just did right there, that's an interesting choice. Won't disagree with you. You grab anything else? I could thin out the deck, actually. And there's a world where you like you can get multi-bomb spam somehow. Like, imagine with a defect, you get multiple bombs out. All of a sudden, it's like, yeah, just, you know... What is it? Uh, I'm trying to think of card names here. I'm so scrambled. We're also going to thin out the deck because I might not live long enough to see this thing come to fruition. That's fine. I feel confident enough that Slime Lord won't kill me outright. That being said, we're going to upgrade the bomb. And ideally play that immediately. Hey, we got it out immediately. That gets burned away, and okay. That's going to be doing 40 damage turn every time I exhaust those, I get a block. Hallelujah. And then this turn, we need to push him to the edge, because he's going to kill me. Okay, not getting that. We'll drink it. We'll do it like this. Hey, we're not dead. We're alive by one. Oh, no. He's getting split right now. Oh, no. Oh, no, baby. No, baby. No, baby. No, this is no good. This is quite bad. <laughs> so we need to play the bomb, obviously. That'll cause both of these guys to split. And then it's just a, a battle for survival. So thank you for that. I will go ahead and exhaust this. Gives me block. Gives me damage. Two turns. Can you last? They're licking me to hell and back. Super lick. Okay. Block. Also block. Little bit of damage, but then... You play bomb again. You block. Good. <laughs> I was about to say, we're in a little bit of trouble here, but turns out picking up the bomb was a decent decision. Maybe? Sort of? I'm still taking a shit ton of damage here, so hold the fuck on. Hey, that kills you alright. That's saving me 10 HP. Love it. This is gonna block and do some damage. Also love it. Alright. And that's all we had to do to survive, because the bomb goes off here and we win. Hilarious. <laughs> Maybe we'll find a new appreciation for this card. Uh, Exhum! Exhum does give us options for an exhaust deck in many ways and more. Doesn't do us any good now, but later can be very good for some select cards that get exhausted. What am I thinking that gets exhausted right now? Well, obviously these two cards here. What other cards in the Iron Class deck gets exhausted? You know, give me a second. I'm really like having trouble remembering <laughs> my own name right now. Iron Clad cards. I just need to know. I don't want the tier list from Spire Logs. Thank you for the opinion, though. What cards do you exhaust in this? Okay, you got Havoc, which would exhaust. That makes sense, but hey, okay. um, True Grit. So that you know, that's that's true in its own way, I suppose. Um, the Burning Pact, the Theory of the Carnage. Okay, Corruption. If you did the uh, oh hey, Disarm. So that'd be one we would like to get if we can make it happen. That's a little fringe. Ghost Armor if it disappears. Infernal Blade, another option. Wait a minute. Isn't this a silent card? Wait, no, this this is clearly red. Oh my god, I'm losing my fucking mind right now. Um We're gonna take Reaper. A little bit of sustain here. Really was hoping to get some energy. I need to let you know how cheese I am that I didn't, because I got a lot of two cost cards in this deck here. Because I have time today, we might do two videos today. We might be going for a while, might be going for a little while, who knows? The world right now is definitely our oyster. We'll see what we can get here. So the birds, they will die soon enough if I just do this. Two turns. Survive this turn, survive next turn, and you win. It's a lot of fucking damage. Holy goddamn mamoli. All right. We're taking damage, but that's it. Like, 
misery ends here, and thank God we drew the bomb early, because this is actual fucking hell. This would have been nice last turn as well, but... Not bitterness talking, that's just the truth of the matter talking. Havoc, so that, that would be the thing that mixes in the uh, playing of the other cards there. What are we doing with this deck? <laughs> what are we actually doing right now? I, I don't want any of this. This deck is a disaster. It's 15 cards thick and like all the cards you picked up are two costers except for Feel No Pain, which is not finding any real synergy here. Havoc will give it some synergy. A very minor one at that, but it will do it, but... Uh. There's another Feel No Pain, so fucking add it to the pile, really. Well, shit, dude. Do you go Anger? You could go Anger. I don't think I need to grab this potion here to sustain my life force, because we're we're doing a thing right now. Bag of Mobbles, I love it. Top tier relic in my humble opinion. You know what? Yes. Yes. Fight me. Kill me. Let me kill you. One way or the other, I'm going to be happy with the result here. So, super block. And then, you know what? I can just kill you outright in a second here, so I'm going to do that. So yeah, grab and bear. Oh no, my dex is down. All I gotta do is play the bomb and everyone dies. I gotta get the bomb first is the only other caveat there. Okay, it's a lot of hurting. Fine, you survive this, you win. Okay, Reaper is not enough to get a kill on everyone. I need to do this. Um, but then I die. Yeah, I'm dead. Hmm. It's like a 10 minute per death right now. All right. Third time's the charm. Level with me, all right? This isn't even like me trying to like make the excuse right now. It is an excuse though, but I'm just probably still feeling a little under the weather. I'm also making bonehead decisions and I keep taking the random common relic no matter what comes up here, but you know. Could be good. Art of War. Okay, so we can make a deck around that, believe it or not. It's a very unique one. It requires Juggernaut and a lot of blocks, but we can make a deck around it. The Realm of Reality. You can also fight an Elite early or later. Our choice. We're going to take this path. Without looking at what's ahead, we're taking this path right here. Trust me. Have faith in me. Didn't play a block there. Didn't matter is why I didn't play the block there. Okay. Do I have any more anecdotes of like life or anything going on i mean the mr bucket thing which i actually very recently just introduced to my friends it's probably the biggest thing that i could you know like what am i playing in my spare times right now uh well i'm playing a lot of more factorio lately because it's definitely it, it's a very therapeutic game if you don't know what factorio is you build a factory you, you automate it you automate automation and then you just you know make things work very therapeutic when you actually make things work what are we taking here by the way uh cleave for one reason, one reason alone, I need a little AoE and it's a little better than a strike. That's it. Only one, though. No more. And you know what? I might not do this, actually. Eh, there's a later shop. Let's do it. Let's thin the deck. We haven't been doing that yet. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Factory. I mean, a lot. Like, I've, I've been playing, like, a solo game, the AIE, the solo possible is the name of that save. I also have a duo possible with my buddy Gabe, Bob, um, <laughs> that we're doing on the side whenever we have time. It's the kind of game like it's like a lot of people can't get in. It's like a Zachtronics game, kind of without being a Zachtronics game. You don't know what Zachtronics game is? It's basically programming games. Shenzhen IO. Um, what what else has he done recently? There's one that was recently I saw like a, a let's look at from Northern Lion a while ago, but I don't remember it. Zach Tron. Hang on, let me find the game name. What kind of game would this be under? Oh fuck it, dude. I can't right now. Uh, they're also like programming games. Factorio is kind of like that, except there is like a little bit of a combat aspect to it that makes it a little fun. Rage. And despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat. I like Rage a lot. Supplemental block. Does synergize with a Juggernaut deck if we can get that up and running. I do like it. Hitting up the shop here, see what they have for sale. You can't hear my, you can't hear the dogs barking, right? Maybe you can when I talk, that's the only time. Um, Looking for here, looking for here. Twin strike, 10 damage, solid, good, like it, love it. Want some more of it. There's nothing here I want. 
To give myself the best odds of taking on these elites and being able to upgrade additional cards, we're going to grab that and pray to God we get a Silent Hill fight. Oh, Match and Keep. Something good, something good. Flex is what we're getting, I guess. No Bash. Fiend Fire's a maybe. Evolve's a maybe. Shame's a no. Oh my lord. Get me out. I want out of this. Anyway, yeah, Factorio. I've been playing a lot on the side. Debated doing a series on Factorio, but like... It's a game I like playing. I don't think that's a game anyone truly wants to watch. And you know what? I... 100% fucking agree. We're upgrading uh, Cleave, by the way, because it's good for the AoE on this floor, and it's also good against the Slime Lord when he does get split. Not the guy I wanted to fight. Is a very solid opener for damage, though. Like, check that shit out. We might make it through here and gain HP back. We're gonna lose a little bit, but dude. You ever see this guy at 20 HP on turn two? You have right now. 12 damage. Little worse for wear. Not gonna mince words there. We're probably going to kill him next turn. So walk it up here. Yeah. Take eight instead. A little bit better than taking what we're going to do there. And then, yeah, just cream him. Roast him, toast him, spit him up. Debate Factorio. Trust me, you guys will never see Factorio on this channel. Uh, it's something I play in my spare time. It's just very relaxing. You would think, hey, like thinking so hard in a video game after a long stressful day at work is relaxing to you? Yes, because I don't have to think about, you know... People fucking signing the blank side of the form instead of the part where it says sign here. You think I'm joking? Oh, you think I'm joking? I am. But it, it could happen tomorrow. <laughs> Took too much air there. The blood for blood is tempting. Uh, I do like it because well, we are going to take damage. There's no really getting around that. Good against the birds because it's going to become free pretty much instantly. Going to say no here. We're trying to keep the deck ultra thin. For a bigger payout later when we get like a, a dealy something that makes Art of War just pop off and we are going to take on this other shop and another elite in the process we had no choice but you know ends the breaks so this shop's not going to be that good but it could be there's a chance chance we can get something grand out of it like another plated armor or an armaments i think an upgraded armaments is decent for a thin deck we'll grab it and we'll upgrade it depending how far the combat goes here Two very weak boys. Hey, check it out. Flex on them. Oh. Bash them. Cash them. Holy shit. All right. They're clicking in my head. Things are clicking in my head here. Anger. I've... I, I've, I think I've been back and forth on Anger. I don't know if it's a good or bad card. I truly want an opinion there from anyone. For some decks, definitely might be nice. For other decks, probably just like a thing that clutters your shit up way too much. Yeah, you got Pendib on the side. That definitely adds to that uh, value proposition there. But outside of that, like, you know, ain't doing you any favors. Ain't picking you up from work. It ain't going to take you to the high school dance. Uh, alternatively, close line. Another big turn of weakness is good. We get some extra energy. We can make something happen with it. That's about it, right? You can combine it with Rage to get a little bit of block. I'm thinking clothesline. I'm thinking clothesline. I'm taking clothesline. Because we do have another elite here. As long as it's not Silent Hill, it will be decent. Hmm. I think here you actually armaments the clothesline for massive damage. Good block mitigation. You're only taking five. Dude, it's like I'm going to take five. I used to be like that kind of person in like my office environment. Both at my current job and at the prior one. Oh, cool. Isn't this great? The dude gave me the fucking cum shot there so I couldn't play any of my good cards. Hey, I'm nice of you. Really fucking considerate, you asshole. Oh, and then he's gonna hit me for even more. Okay. Super block. This fight has turned out way worse than it should have. We've lost like a solid like 12-ish HP. That definitely could have been avoided, but... You know, a little bit unlucky on the draws there. What I was talking about? I was talking about something about work again, but that's like I'm a square every time I talk about work. I don't know, dude. Brains all over the place. Second flex. You know you want to. You know you want to. You sh probably shouldn't, though. You don't have enough damage cards to really combine with it to be good. It's better when you have a lot of one-cost cards as well. True Grid, on the other hand. You're going to thin out a lot of the good things about your deck. The process. And Sword Boomerang, you get a lot of strength. That'll be your linchpin. You don't have a lot of strength right now. With this in conjunction, what does that come out to? 15 damage on one card. It's pretty decent, actually. 
The mind with the weakness. All right. We can always pivot to getting some strength later. Pray to upgrade a card. Well, we could upgrade that. We could upgrade armaments like I wanted to. Let's go ahead and do that. Silent Hill. This dingling. It's perfect. This dingling wants to show up right now. There you go. 21 smacker and he's out the gate. Might pop this here. Keyword might. I can get 15 block right now. I could do 36 damage and reduce his damage for the next two turns. I think we're going to go for that instead. Five damage done. Okay, that was a good play. Pat me on the back, everyone. Good play, Tim. Hey, good play. Thanks, guys. The block, 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 because we can make it through it here. And then more big damage here. Armaments on the rebound, thanks to the Art of War. We can finagle this, and he should die this turn. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Very good. Paper, paper frog. Do uh, Brain, work with me here. What, are you okay? No, the brain's not okay. Also, I'm about to take a second cleave just by saying I wouldn't. And I'll tell you one word why I'm taking the other cleave and also why I'm upgrading it. One word. Birds. You get cleave, two cleaves, you're hitting everyone twice, you can knock down anyone else that you want later. It's an investment in my future. Also, I got a Sneko Oil if I really want to, you know, make a two-card deck happen here. I'll let this fucking fight gives me Sneko's eye. I'm going to lose my collective mind here. I'm also going to laugh because, you know, it's going to be hilarious, but, like, don't don't give me the Sneko's eye. You had a chance to give me Sneko's eye last time, and you chose not to, and then I was on the second floor fighting a bandage with a bunch of cards I couldn't play. You would not do it to me now. You wouldn't do me like that, game. Okay, so you flex on him. Bashing him for... 20. Could bash him for 28. The vulnerability is a little more important. I'm gonna block this. We can squeeze out a little bit more damage next turn, ideally. Please don't give me three blocks on top of this card here. Oh, here she comes. Ooh, watch out, boy. She'll chew you up. So that sucks. I was really hoping to get a little more damage there, so I gave him the double goop on me. Hate it. We can safely get away doing this. Definitely should have armaments first, though, for later. Okay, and now we gotta split him. We gotta. And we got the exact lineup that we want to do the split with. Alright, we've dropped him down to 46. It's decent. All things considering. Oh, you need to clothesline this boy. Give him the fucking clothesline. Give him the strike. No split happening. Get him weak enough so when we play both of our fucking cleaves... This guy should just get split in half. Okay. Both of the cleaves will come later. He's down to 1 HP. That's fine. You can split at 1 HP. I don't mind. I'm basically just going to talk about the game like ad nauseum right now because I have nothing better to say in my... Okay. I was going to say, I'm fucked. I'm dead. No, you can kill that guy. He has 1 HP and you said it yourself. For the love of God. Not like this. Okay. We're good. We're good, everyone. Anyone who's panicking, see yourself out. Everything was collectively calm and under control here. Oh my god. I was not in control of the situation. Am I ripping off a Rick and Morty bit here? Yes, I am. Do I like Rick and Morty? Eh, it's okay. I do enjoy watching it, but I'm not like, you know, a super fan like a lot of people are. So once again, Reaper Feed showed up, and this time we have Fiendfire hopping into the fray. With a little bit of strength up, the Reaper can give me a little bit more sustain. Also, AoE on top of things we might need AoE for. Be liable to give me more max HP if we can land it. The deck's thin enough, I think we could land it. Try and get some more max HP over temporary HP. And then you give me Sozu as my energy supplement. I think you do take the opportunity here to get some energy supplements. So good. Potions, say goodbye. The ones we have here we're carrying until the end of time. You know what? They're not the best ones to carry, especially this one, but... You don't get to pick your parents, so you don't get to pick your poisons. Poisons, your potions. You can pick your poisons. In some professions. Other professions, they just give it to you. Or you're playing Skyrim. Okay. Fireplaces are nice. We need to just survive right now. Question marks are not as great on this floor because of the fucking goddamn event that you can get, which is just awful. Just terrible. Like, out, outright dastardly, even. And all the shops are on the right. What the fuck? I want a shop. I want a shop that's not, like, immediate, but... Fuck, dude. Latest shop we can get is here, and we have to go through an elite later. Only get one fireplace in the process. All right, no, we're going to take the mystery machine path here. So Zoinks Gang joining up with Scoobs again. And ideally... 
one of these question marks are gonna give me a shop and not the arena combat. Other reality that's likely to happen, we're gonna get the arena combat. Okay. Smash him. I think you need to break down the armor here if you wanna kill him, yeah. So we'll only take this damage here. We need to get a big crush here. Big crush. That is a big crush right there. 24 damage. 2011 damage. That goes I. Oil, save me. Oh. Didn't get to use the feed there, but that was clutch. Burying the bottle. I wish I could have you. Can't have you. And Heavy Blade. Do we have a strength deck going on right now? We don't. We could, but... Right now, it's just going to be 14 damage for two. A little better than a clothesline without the upside. We do have some strength, but fuck, dude. It is an ace in the hole, essentially, if you do get strength. Again, that's like a... The asking question here is, do you get strength? I will take it just because it is a, a win condition, and right now the deck does not have a win condition. 35 minutes deep in today's video, we're missing some win conditions. Give me a relic, why not? Sure. So now the shops are not as critical, so we don't get one other thing, that's fine. And in fact, they want to give me some curse events, I will gladly trade it up. You take this path? Mm, debatable. Hey! My buddy's playing Factorio right now. Speak of the devil. Oh, hey! There, big boy. I was just talking about you and this game. Please banter back with me, because I have no dialogue, not dialogue, on today's recording. Help me. You're also on Discord. Yeah, but I'm recording. Give me something to talk about. All right. Desperate times when you're calling your friends for assistance like this, he will come through in the clutch. Um, he also said, uh, thanks for the assist. We can knock out one bird. One bird can get knocked out. We can block for five as well. We can block for nine here, actually. Let's see. What is the first thing you think of in the morning? What is the first thing I think of in the morning? Shit, he's scrambling right now when I need to be thinking about my plays. Hold the phone. So we're gonna get six block automatically for Oracalcum. So we don't need to play armaments other than, you know, getting this upgraded. So I think we go for the cleave. I think we go for... the clothesline, because someone's liable to not die. Go for the highest HP boy. And then, because we can't munch him... This doesn't matter because he was going to get knocked out of this guy anyway. We just did that for a little bit of preservation. Six damage. First thing I think of in the morning? Well, first thing I think of is like, you know, panic. First off, did I wake up in time for my alarm? Answer is no, you're in trouble and fucked. Not saying that, I just, I'm just thinking about fucking not dying on the drive to work, which is still a problem I have, by the way. I've mentioned this on prior... That's good. Prior videos before. I do suffer from like terrible, drowsy driving. I actually had a situation like that yesterday where it's like, it, I, I don't know how I'm alive sometimes. And I'm not saying that as like a, a huge bit, even though this is a, like a pseudo bit. I genuinely mean it when I'm like, yeah, today I drove to work. I don't remember driving to work for parts of it. And then I arrived in the parking lot. It's like, how are you actually alive? Is this a bit of an exaggeration? It is a little bit of an exaggeration. I'm not going to fucking sugarcoat that either. Cause that's, you know, that's how you tell a story with a little bit of exaggeration, not lying. All right. It's exaggeration. But truly how I feel sometimes. And uh, this past Thursday was no different than that. Like, even when I got to work, like, my coworkers thought I was fucking drunk when I was walking. It's like, you just come to work drunk? It's like, no, I'm not drunk. I'm just really fucking tired and I don't know how to use my legs. And on average, I'm sitting on my ass all day. I feel like I forget how to use my legs on a frequent basis. Thunderclap? I think we go Thunderclap. It's AoE. It's a weakness. It's a vulnerability. I like it. It's, uh, it's energized with Paper Frog. That's the good take. So, yeah, first thing I think in the morning is Am I going to live? I mean, hopefully the answer is yes. Maybe you do take on the elites, by the way, because you have the HP to do it. And you could use the relics. Alternatively, you get two, three sick fireplaces, and you can upgrade Thunderclap to do marginally more damage. Um, well, fuck, we're not making a very good case here. We don't have a lot of good cards to upgrade. Ah, I'm gonna take on the elite. Oh, fuck you, Sneko. Piss off, lad, would ya? Alright, so this is a very risky pass. So if this is where it crashes and burns, 
Hey, forgive me, guys. Definitely wasn't our day, but I'm glad to be playing the Ironclad still. But ideally, I'm not saying if this is where it crashes and burns, as I'm saying, hey, this is it. Like, I'm gonna die? Nah, dude. We're pushing into the fucking limit here. Don't be fooled by me taking this much damage to make you think that it's over. <laughs> There's a chance. It's only seven damage. We can sustain that back with the burning blood. There's still hope. Easy turn here. You go rage, free block. Thunder what? Thunder clap. Cleave him. Strike him. No damage. He's dusted next turn. What do you think of the morning? Maybe I should pose the question out to everyone. Isn't that what you're supposed to do when you do YouTube? Pose those questions out to the universe. Dude, you take a third cleave, you're gonna cry. But I'm gonna take a third cleave for one reason alone. This fight right here. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. What it is, what it isn't. Okay. You need to go for this guy first. So hit him. Hit him. Nom him. He's in kill range. Six block, better than the five block. That wasn't even me forgetting the block or being over aggressive. I knew I had Ori Calcum there. Here it is. The cleaves to save your goddamn life, despite the weakness actually coming out, meaning you have to do a little bit more work. That's fine. And you know what? I think we saved this for the other... This is the Book of Standing that we potentially might fight. So go ahead. Hit me up some more. Smack my bitch up. Take my picture. And then... 22 damage to everyone. Solid. Thunderclap. And then you crush this guy here. All right. Handled very well. Gonna be at 40 HPS is over. We are going to rest after this. No way around that. And Gremlin Horde is so good if we get the other fight. I'm taking more AoE, I think. Right now we have an AoE deck, I guess is how you can describe it. No, I wouldn't call that a, a good way to describe it. And we got the exact fight we wanted. Holy shit. We got a very shitty opener in the process, but we got the exact fight we wanted. So ideally, you want to try and kill at least one or both of these guys in the opening hand. The fact that they're both alive and having plus four strength and this guy's hitting me for 30, it's not good. Quite bad. Don't let anyone fool you. Also, we're weakened. Fuck that guy. Okay. Leave him. Got the energy. Spread the weakness out a little bit more. Cleave him again. Get the energy. Play Rage for a little bit of block. And then weaken this guy. Alright, we get Rage earlier in that rotation, we're a lot happier. Otherwise, we're just fine and happy to be alive. Good turn for damage. Oh baby, that's a good turn for damage. I'm thinking with like any sort of vulnerability, we might have this final boss in the bag. In fact... I ate a fucking gremlin leader. Yeah, we better run away, I'll eat you next. Punk ass looking ass. Mango looking ass! Not what I really wanted, but I guess that's all we got. Uh, God. Searing Blow decks. Also something I've wanted to try. You need to have a really thin deck and just get like Searing Blow armaments on rotation and you can make it happen. Otherwise, kiss that dream goodbye. Because this is like a... It's an, it's an exponential upgrade? I forget at one point like Searing Blow becomes really good. It's like 16 damage or two. Ain't winning any fans. Fire Breathing. We can squeeze out ever so little more damage. That's about it. And the final boss will be Book of Stabbing, unless I take on both, which we're guaranteed to get Book of Stabbing and then someone else. It's an option. Fuck, but I do want that shop. Am I about to take on the Book of Stabbing? I didn't take the cards, by the way. Whatever. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take on Book of Stabbing. This is not Book of Stabbing, game. You have, you have fucking robbed me. This is not the Book of Stabbing. This is quite the opposite. I want a refund. Mega Crit. This is actually you doing me dirty right now. I fully expect it to be Book of Stabbing. All right. We need to kill him before he does his, like, annoying, hey, don't attack attack. Hit that. Hit him. Hit him. That's one dead. You gotta double block here. A little bit of self-preservation again. Only seven damage. We are gonna make it the shop at the end of this. That's good. Not grand, though. Okay. Upgrade all the other cards. Need to cleave. That's 12 damage to random enemies. Focus down one boy. Okay, so he dies to a strike. Well, now we have to live a little bit more because we're weakened. But he will die to just anything. Just kill him. Just eat him. Nom nom nom. Okay. Then you bash. Nine. Seven. That's not enough. We need to weaken him then. And then Aura Calcum comes in in the clutch. 
reach by. Also, thing to think about in the morning, now thinking about it, is how bad the phone's gonna be that day. But like, this is not really a very good topic to go on, or is nor is it entertaining. So we'll probably cut that there. But let me know what you think. What is the first thing you think of in the morning? Moderately curious. I'm not gonna say I'm genuinely curious because that would be a lie, and I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm moderately curious though. Uh, moderately want a ghost armor as well, and I mean I've earned the right to party. I'm gonna get that shop. Armaments, then you gotta bash the weakest boy, and then you cleave him down. And this right here makes grabbing the cleaves all the better. Cleave him. Could have ate him. AOE him. Hit him. Eat him. Strike him. Block him. This fight is so much easier as the Ironclad compared to any time I get it on the defect and I'm just sitting here shitting bricks like, oh good, how do I manage to kill three guys with my AoE lightning orbs that are all RNG? I'm gonna try that sentence again. All RNG, Jesus. Don't even ask me what happened there. My voice just refused to cooperate. I can get a fourth cleave right now. If we survive the uh, People's Champ fight, these are gonna be so good. <laughs> For pretty much, well, actually, no, they're quite bad. And we're gonna take this in the process because we need a, a little bit of a debuff here. They could be good in the later half of the game, namely against like the blob fight. I was thinking to get some of the shapes. Maybe it's good. No, this thorny boy's there. All right, what have we earned for our journey here? Okay, so we have no power, so the pellets are out of the question. So my journey to the shop proved to be a big old fucking waste of time. Could buy the blood and maybe this event here makes me a vampire for free. Fat fucking chance, but yeah, this was a waste of time. We're gonna gra grab those for like some multiplicative advantages on top of a weakness, but that's about it. Okay, now we have a chance because that, that gives me a little bit of hope. By the way, getting this with freaking frozen egg, or not frozen egg, a uh, toxic egg, probably my favorite thing just to do. <laughs> so you don't have to waste these immediately as you get them. Things we need, longer vulnerability, straight up. That's the only way we come out of this fight ahead is with longer vulnerability. All right, people's champ. Out the gate, we got an apparition, but this is our opener. It's not great. No damage taken, three reflected. Didn't draw anything useful here outside of a little bit of damage. So we'll go ahead and squeeze out 13. It's a long road. Okay, some aberrations would be nice here. Thank you for the Abbey. Appreciate it. And just, just hit him. Oh, you could feed on him later. We could. Gonna use it now. Like three damage. All right. Two aberrations. Hey, they're gonna disappear if you don't use them. So you may as well do just that and then hit him for 14. Hit me. Hit me. Oh, thank God he's hitting me. Okay, another aberration. Thunderclap into a strike for seven. Ghost armor so you don't lose it. This is pitiful. He's still, he's, no, he's only doing one damage again. So, take this time to upgrade everything. This was my ace in the hole for grabbing it. I need something big. This is potentially outstanding. That's good, that's good, that's good. That's all very good damage. For the rest of combat, these guys also costing one. Very solid. Okay. There's a there's a moderate chance we make it through now. Okay, we've gone through all of our, our apparitions now. So this is all we got to work with. We need to push to the end here. Check it out. Check it out. Who's the heaviest hitter? You are? Okay, okay, okay. Hit him. Hit him. Pen nibs ready. The game even lets you know. 64. Another 14, 21. We keep drawing those for damage. I think we can just kill them outright because those are heavy hitters for free. You get him vulnerable. You weaken him. You cleave him. You maintain that block for later. Okay. And then he does... 46 damage. And then you lose. <laughs> and then you die. It's just like some nice little mantra for life there. Hey, that's gonna do it for today. Eh, I had fun. I got to experience some new things. I think there's a world where the bomb's gonna really take off. So one day, just just you wait. <laughs> just you wait. All right. Am I gonna get my other series recorded tonight? I'm gonna give you right now. It's a maybe. It always will be a maybe till I fucking do it. The reason why I'm hesitant is because the way the run links work, it would not fit into one, two, maybe even three videos. 
So it needs to be like sort of a burst situation and then I burst it out over the week. So maybe I do it on the weekend. Maybe I find a day where I actually just do it. I don't know yet. Regardless, crack my knuckles. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekend here. We will see you tomorrow for the next one. We might see you this afternoon for another one of these in the evening. Even though I said afternoon. All right. This is my cue. I'm going to go lay down and or play Factorio to smooth my brain. Smooth my... To rest my brain. To smooth... R rub my brain, Smithers. I'm like freaking Mr. Burns. Anyway. Get yourself a snack. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your evening. And I will see you on the next one.